I'm sitting in the sukkah of the New York Presbyterian Hospital Bicher uh, Holem group, and it's what my Hiddish about sukkah has to do, because I'm been sitting in the sukkah for a few days here, and now uh, I've come here to do a uh, video of my Hiddish for sukkah. Uh, sukkah itself is spelled Samet Vav Kaf Hey, and it's 91 which is Yudke Vavke plus out of Noi. But while I was meditating today on the concept of sukkah, it occurred to me why don't I do a at bash on the two letters that are not part of the divine name. So I did an at bash on the Samech and on the Kaf. Now the Atbash of Samech is a Het and then the uh, so then I had Het and then I do the divine name of Vav and then the Atbash of the uh, Kaf is Lamed and so I put a Lamed and then the hay. So what I had here was uh, het, vav, lamed, hey, which is hola, and hole, and that means sick person. And so it came to me that the concept of sukkah itself is a sugula, a curative, for a holen, a sick person. And that if you sit in the sukkah, you'll be healed. And it just so happens that outside this sukkah here, it comes out reversed with the selfie here, but the it says uh, for a refuah shalema in sukkahs. And it really is because what is it? It's the, the encircling light of the sukkah that's healing. It's not only the sukkah that heals, but it, it, what it really unfolds. Now, more than that, you see, to me, the sukkah is a square, it's not a round. And the square to me is the second sur or makif, the second surrounding light. And the second surrounding light is far removed. It's the Yehida. Now, when I spelt out the ordinals of the word hole, it's uh, uh, het, which was eight, and uh, uh, excuse me, not a folder. If when I spelt out of the the ordinals of the word sukkah, it came out to be samek, which is fifteen, vav is six. That's uh, 21, Lamed, uh, uh, excuse me, Kaf, 21, and Kaf is 11, that's uh, 32, and He is 5, that's 37. That just so happens to be the gematria of the term Yehida. And to spell out Yehida in ordinals, it's 37 because it's Yud 10, Het 8, 
eight, uh, eight that's 18. Yud, uh, 28. Dalet, 32. Hey, 37. So the Yehida is related to the Sukkah, that's, which I think. And even though it talks about the Or Makif, it's really the second Or Makif. It's the square. Square far removed. And so this was my kind of Hiddish that the Hola, Hole, is cured by sitting in a sukkah. And that's what this entire sukkah here, because on the wall it says that for Rafur Shalema, because the people who stay at this place here are people who are Bikr Holam, which is in itself one of the great terms, Holam, Holay. And remember that whole. You know, bicker holum is a term that's, and that's the trouble with using English. They call it visiting the sick. It's not visiting the sick. Bicha means to investigate, and holum means the profane. So a bicker holum is the investigation of the profane. That's why the person's lying there sick. You see? He's lying there sick because he's profane. If he understood his illness, he wouldn't be sick. If he understood Hashem. And so that's what this is all about here today. just after Shabbos here. So I came and because I had this in meditation that the word hole is inherently in the word sukkah. And when you sit in the sukkah, you'll be cured. And so for people who are sick, go sit in the sukkah and see if you don't feel better. <laughs>